I always say that. Yeah. Man. yeah. Expecting like the camera to go, we're, we're good. Hi there. Hiya. <laughs> Okay. Alright, Jono, you've had a good week? It's been a great week. I've had a good week. We've Thanks. been very busy. We've been doing a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Behind the scenes, in the scenes, down the scenes, yep. in front of you. Ticking a lot of bit, <laughs> a lot of boxes. Yep. Mate, um, how about we, we jump straight in? We've got a stand round. What? what are we doing? Okay, well, I'll tell them. I was gonna ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Me under the bus today. I know, you? I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> today we are talking about different sound levels that you can use for practice. Yes. Now or I'm, Different ways you can control your kit if you're in a small area with neighbors yes. close. Yeah, that's right. I, I've found, and you're probably the same, as far as barriers to re rehearsal and practice and that sort of thing for new drummers, uh, one of the issues is always sound. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, you go out, you buy your kit, and then um, you start to rehearse, then mum or dad goes, <laughs> <laughs> And, um, but that's not really much different from the gigging world. Yeah. <laughs> Most clubs, owners, and everything. Yeah, the drums are too loud! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, I mean, what is going to be the easiest option? Not not what we're about to talk about, but what's the easiest option for rehearsal? Electronic drum kit. Electronic drum kit. Yeah. Okay? If you wanted a full drum kit experience... That you could go as hard you as can, you like. Yeah, that you can Might practice on. Might not sound like the real one, no. but... Um, I mean, look, some of the high-end ones do, but... On a general thing, it's not going to be like a real drum kit. Yes. But you can rehearse wherever you like, whenever you like. That's right. The thing is that costs a bit of money, doesn't it? It does. It's yeah. Whew. And I mean... It, For a good one. Yeah. You could start with something about a thousand bucks, but they go all the way up to like ten. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, we're not talking about that today. We're talking about things you can do to your, your current kit. set. Yep. Uh, or ways that you can practice quietly. Yeah. Very good. Should we right. start? So... We have a snare drum here. We've yep. got a couple of different options. We're just using a snare drum, not a whole kit, obviously. Yep. Um, this, whatever we do to the snare drum can apply to the whole drum kit, even cymbals. Yep. Um, but what we're going to do today, we've got four options. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the, the snare drum as acoustically. That's right. The, and that and is. we're going to check the DB for each one as we go through and see what the levels are as we... That's it. Go. Um, do we want to quickly run through or just go, do just do it? Uh, no, let's just, let's just start. Okay. Let's start. All right. So, how about we do a DB check on the snare drum? Now, we have a mic right here, and uh, we are going to be miking everything that you hear from a distance so that you get a bit of a comparison as yep. well. Um, this is the start, though. We have this a snare is, drum. This, this is, is snare drum. Our, our control. The controlled yep. snare drum. So, we've got two dampening rings with a bit of gaff tape, like gone overboard to try and bring the snare back to from like when you hit it, it goes crack and takes yeah. off. We've. Um, Tune it down a little, so it's a little bit more thuddier, but it's, I like it this way a little yeah. bit. Um, you've got two dampening rings, which takes out a lot of the overtones, and then the gaff, obviously. We've got a fair bit of dampening on this head to try and control it. Yes. All right. But it's still a normal snare drum. It We're, is. Yeah, yeah. Good to go. So we've got our trusty DB meter here. Yeah. yeah. This has been tested against a $5,000 yeah. industry standard DB meter that checks musos at live gigs. And this we're, is one dB out, so it's actually calibrated. We're too. not sponsored. Who's the guys who make this? Do you know? The app, not a clue. It was just a free one that I found do, on the app. Do you know store. what the name of the app is? DB oh, Meter. I will post it in the description. <laughs> this is a good DB Meter. Yes. Okay, here we go. You're going to hit it? I'm going to hit it. Okay, I'm so, ready. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we just got to 82 decibels. Yep. All right. Um, on here, it ranks that as alarm clocks and power tools. Power tools. Yes. And, you know, power tools, is anyone... Oh, I don't know. I haven't really done much with power tools. I'm not a power tool kind of guy. But, um, you know... What is a tool, when, not yeah. a power tool. <laughs> Yeah. When they installed an aircon in my living room and they had to drill through the wall, it was really loud. Yeah. So, um, you know... I mean, while we're t talking about this... Drummers, protect your ears. Yes, yes. 100%. Um, because 80, 90 decibel plus, um, it's not good for extended exposure. No, it's li right? limited time. That's right. Um, there's good chart. I'll, I might find it, get Molzo to flash it up on the screen as yeah. well uh, for time limit per dB over yes. the threshold that yeah. you go. But yeah, I, I actually use as a drummer that does a lot of rehearsing and practice uh, molded in ears that have. I have two sets, one that's uh, 15 dB reduction, uh, so I still hear everything quite clearly. They're plugs. They're plugs. Yeah. No, no, not plugs, molds. Molds. Molds, yeah. 
Uh, so, no, but not molds with headphones in them. No, no, they're, they're, they're just they're, 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 they're plugs, molds. Yes. yes. Um, and then you can go to um, like your music store as well. And they've just got plugs that go in with different sleeves, so 15 dB, 20, and 30 dB yeah. reduction. Very, very good for your hearing, especially if you're doing what we do, where you're recording and then you're trying to go to the monitors and that afterwards and mix. At least your hearing's you're not missing any of the frequencies and all that. Yep. Cool. cool. Um, so 82. 82. Let's move to our first option. All if right. you were playing at home, here we go. Something that's cheap and, and easy. Rubber pads. You can get yeah. it for all your kits that's and right. your cymbals. Yes. Um, so if you're doing a rehearsal and whatnot, this so you can still use your acoustic kit is a great option. Yeah. All yeah. right. Should we play? I think we should play. All right, you want to hold well, up the thing? I, I'm holding up the thing. All right, I'm here looking we go. intently. So we've got the snare on at the moment. Yes. yes. Yep, so it sounds good with the snare. Okay, so we're bouncing about 68. 68. Sometimes it was hitting 70. 70, yep. Now, the magic trick, you want to do it? Snare off really yep, quickly. Snare off. Here we go. So you just dropped eight decibels yeah. by switching off your snare. Well, the the, the snare is still uh, rattling against the real head. That's right. And it, you've got a bit more noise. There's going no on. muffling on the snare when you put on the the rubber. That's right. Yeah. All uh, right. So um, you can get these for all your drums and your cymbals. They come in sets. Yeah. First door. You can also get ones that sit companies. over the space where your kick beater would normally hit. That's right. Yes. Whole kit. Whole kit setup. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know prices. We can look that up, but. You know, retail stores will be able to give you a price on all that too. Mm -hmm. Next option, Malzo. Next option. Snare on. Yes. Practice pad. Yes. So, obviously, practice pads, uh, you can do them for your whole kit as well. Um, but generally, they come in like, this is a big or medium one. This is 12 inch. You can get the 8 inch ones yep. as well. But the, whereas the, the ones we used before, they're specific sizes to the drums you're using. So They're pretty cheap, eh? So, not necessarily this one, but you can buy a practice pad for $11. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's very without cheap. eBay or yeah, Wish. That could get even cheaper than that. That's it. Yeah. But, very cheap option. Not like if you hit it pretty hard, that's going to bounce off. <laughs> yeah. Now, so, do you recommend playing them on top of your drums like this, or, or how would you practice with a practice pad? I, I tell my students to do this at home because I'll just quickly show them. Mm -hmm. Just even then, when you heard it, uh, there's a little bit of snare rattle as well, so it, it just just as far as like uh, if you want the real feeling of a drum but not as loud and that kind of thing, it's great great option to do. Um, it's not going to wreck your drum yeah. uh, as well because it's a rubber pad. Yeah, that's right. So I, I recommend this versus or if you've got stands of course, but this versus like a chair or a tabletop and all that because you're at the right height, you're going to have your posture right and all that kind that's of thing. That's it. So. That's it. Yeah. So keeping it as much like like. You would at a normal kick. That's right. Yeah. 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 So let's do, do an it. audio test Ready? on the practice pad. Okay, so we're sitting in sort of 63, 64. Yep. Um, this Th is that's with the snare on. Yeah, yeah, very, very similar to what you would get with the snare off and your rubber practice pad. Yeah. Because there's less contact. We're gonna try it with the snare yep. off really quick. Okay, so that was high 50s, 58, yeah. 59. Yeah. Um, now, if we take it off the drum, it is quieter again, isn't it? It, it is quieter yeah, again. But then you risk not having the exact same setup That's that you it. would have at your kit. So, just quickly, what, what are we looking at low 50, oh, sorry, high 50s, low 60s as a noise thing on there? What does it say? Um, I'm louder than that here as we talk. So, if I was saying 60, that's a normal conversation. Yeah. Right? So, this is currently slightly quieter than us speaking in this room. That's right. Yeah. So you could have a whole band rehearsal if you were using this and all that and be probably at the same volume of yes. a couple of people being rowdy in a yeah. living room or something. The other thing I've seen is that people deck out their kit with um, the rubber pads and then just run a practice pad on their snare drum. Yeah, I mean, just to quiet it, it down. Yeah. The snare drum's like cracking. Yeah, that's that right. Well. It, it yeah. really cuts uh, when you're in the room, the thing that cuts when you're out of the room is going to be your kick. kick it yeah. carries through walls and that yeah. sort of stuff because of the love frequencies. Yeah. Alright, should we talk about our last option? Alright, to do the last option, we're going to quickly fast forward through this video. Yeah, um, because we'll, we'll talk about it first. We'll talk about it first. This is a mesh drum head. Yes. So, uh, the other ones are great because you could just put them on your drums and then if you do want to play it acoustically, you can just pull them off and you've got your acoustic option straight back. The, 
the difference with these ones is this is a bit more of a permanent fixture. If you do want to go back to real heads, you've got to de-skin your head, uh, your drum kit, and put these yeah. heads on. Um, but if it was a permanent kit set up for rehearsals and you are happy with just going the mesh head option, these here are one of the quietest options you can go, yeah. but most realistic feeling to a real drum that, head. That's it. it. It's almost like you're playing the real one. Yeah. Now, what's the price comparing this head to sort of like our standard head? Are they equivalent or more or less? They're about the same price. About so the same price? These are about $25 to $35 depending on what tom and snare you go for. Yep. And I think the bass drums are anywhere between $60 and $100. That's Australian dollars by the way. Yeah. Um, now, what, what do you do with these cymbals though? If um, you've got these on. So you can just get the cymbal mutes like you did, uh, you know, the first uh, option that we had a look yeah, at, yeah. the rubber head. You can just get the cymbal the, mutes the, that the way. Rubber mounts, yep. yep. So you can go this with rubber mounts on, on your real cymbals, or you can go like electronic cymbal, uh, rubber cymbal as well. Mm, that, so. There's also practice cymbals though. Aren't there there yeah, are, they're yeah. plastic cymbals. I've actually bought them just to try them before. Uh, I don't really like them, they don't work and They don't flex. feel the same, do they? No. no. So I, when I went this way, I was using uh, my Roland electronic cymbals with it, yep. or I was using uh, my cymbal, real cymbals, with, with the, the, rubber, um, pads. the rubber, rubber mutes on them. Yeah. 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 So, um, if you're going to do this, probably don't recommend the practice symbols. No. Uh, go with these and then some, some rubber pads. Yeah. Yeah. All cool. right. So we'll we change it? Yeah, we'll change it over and we'll be right back. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. We're back. We're back. Let, let, let's have a go. Let's have, have a, a quick look. look. All right. right. So, um, so the thing. this is the mesh head. Yes. Tune relatively tight. Here we go. Okay. So individual hits, 59. Uh, maybe 61, 62 when you're playing yep. a couple in a row. Now I've did this back to front, but that was with the, the snare off. Let's try it with the snare on. Okay, snare on. Okay, so maybe like 62, 63. Yeah. Uh, when you got that rim, rim shot, shot. Um, we're up at 70. Yeah. Again. So, okay. um, comparable to sort of everything else we looked at. That's right. You know, um, any of these options are going to drop you from 80, 90 dB down to below 70. That's right. And every time you go 10 dB down, you're half the volume. So, you know, we're 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 very way, manageable. Yeah. Very like, manageable. That, you can do a rehearsal, no worries. I really like the feel of this. Yeah. I like the way that feels. I like the way that plays on this drum. It's pretty cool. So, there's your options. There's That's the it. DB um, meter. Meter. <laughs> we'll post the app and we'll go from there. Yeah. All yeah. right. Guys, thank you for today. We will see you next time for another exciting episode. Have a good one. Bye.